Hello, hello and welcome back to Sim Airport where we pretend to be an airport manager. Our airport is growing pretty well. I actually like how our airport is growing. We've got more than enough gates. I'm not going to be expanding the gates for now. I'm just going to get all of this completed, like fill in all the spaces, get all of this sorted out, the shops, get the PA systems uh, fit in. Uh, PA is actually a major problem because we have very less coverage. We've got decent coverage here, not too much, but we've got no coverage over here. We've got decent coverage in the first class lounge. And then we have good coverage here, but we have no coverage here, no coverage here, no coverage here, none wherever. So the idea is to get more PA coverage, good PA coverage, because um, that's tomorrow. Let's go to yesterday. Did we miss any? We didn't miss any, which is good. Yup, we did not miss any at all. Which is good. Uh, if we don't miss, we get the bonus, which is of course good. But uh, bonus is not the the perfect bonus. Is not the oh twenty five thousand. That's substantial. But that's not the end all of all, right? So we are not just hoping that we get the twenty five thousand. That's not the focus. Of course, we've reached twenty five thousand a lot of times. We've just not cracked twenty five thousand. I'm sure in our previous game we cracked 25,000, but in this game we haven't so far. So let's hope, let's hope today's the day that we crack 25,000. All right, so uh, all of this is going well. Airport value, see, revenues, revenues adjustment is, uh, I was, it was clarified to me that revenues adjustment is actually your, uh, accrued revenue or accrued net profit from the previous term. So that's around 2.203, but I don't know what this 15% means. I seriously, I still don't understand what revenues adjustment means. I get that it's retained earnings, which is added back to you. Oh, so maybe overall lifetime of my airport, I've made 2.2. Maybe it's overall lifetime. But then why would you have a percentage? Like what is this a percentage of? Is this a percentage of my revenues? Could be, maybe, who knows? Uh, so yeah, things are fine. Things are good. Things are dandy. Uh, today I've made 169 already. Yesterday we made close to a quarter million. The day before that we lost out on such money, some money, but close to a quarter million is good. It's not bad at all. So let's come down here and let's see what we want to do here. So. Should I have another reception area here? I think we probably should. So let's get a wall and let's get another reception area over here. So the wall can go here. And all of this is going to be our offices. Now for offices, what should be the size of the office? There is no indication. All right. Uh, what was the size of our offices here? It's two by three, right? So we can give the airlines two by three offices, which means this would be one office. I could fit a lot of offices here if this is going to be my size. A lot of them. We can make them a little bit bigger, but let's stick to two by three. So that's four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That should be fine. So let's get walls. Um, Right, so we are going to get ourselves a hell of a lot of offices here. So 
So I can get three here. If I get three here, that's... Oh, I can get four here. Ooh, this is going to look like a dungeon, isn't it? I don't want it to look like a dungeon. We can actually make it look pretty neat. We can, of course, make it look neat. Like we can have plants and we can have other stuff. Why, why not? Why not make a fancy office? I mean, the offices are going to be tiny. They're going to be sitting in like tiny little cubicle shaped offices. So why not just make it really pretty outside? So I take up all the space from your personal office room thingy, but then I give you plants outside. Who would say no to that? Surely not me. That's a lot of offices. Right, so let's get some doors. We can have the small door over here, I guess. Actually, we can just mirror this. So we can have a small door here. And we can have a large door over here. I'm ballparking it, looks like it's in the center and I guess that should be fine. So let's go to the office and let's get the office desks. We can actually get conference rooms in here, <laughs> like, <coughs> excuse me, teeny tiny little conference rooms. I could actually make a conference room here. That would be a decent sized conference room. And one over here would be a decent sized conference room. So you can have the conference rooms and then it basically opens up into, which means I can do without this huge door. I can get a small door. So I can get a small door here. Okay. We need the walls and we need the windows before we can get the small doors. So if I get the small door here, I'll have more room for the conference rooms. Windows. There you go. Here and here. And let's get walls. going like so like so so you walk through here you can see the conference rooms and then you come in here and you've got this huge area where you'll probably have like fountains or something in the middle you know like make it a really fancy really fancy office sure why not All right, so that's all that. Let's get some windows. So glad we don't have to do like lights and stuff. Although this does look darker than this. Why is that I wonder? Let's get a different kind of floor because I'm sick and tired of having the same floor everywhere. Let's get stone O1. Maybe this will look better. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Is it because it's, oh, it's because I'm on this. All right, yeah, there you go. I was on that overlay, which was the problem. Uh, 
what's your problem with the office oh there are no doors how stupid of us Did we assign the conference rooms as conference rooms? Oh, we don't have restrooms here either. Do they use restrooms even? That's a question. It's a question which we did not answer. Maybe I remove this conference room and then make it into a restroom. Nah. I am not too keen on that. We could get a small restroom here, of course. A uh, little tiny little restroom over here. We don't need that much space for a restroom actually. So let's see. Can we get the walls? If we get the walls, this is going to be pretty tiny restroom. right what do we need for a restroom though uh objects comfort was it yes so we need a toilet stall of course and we'll need one of these and we'll need some garbage bins so that could be one restroom and then have a wall and we could have another restroom here. So that's three, which means I can have, oh wait, I can't have the wall here, which means the wall has to go around like so, because they need to be able to enter. Is that right? Hmm. So I could have this here and I could have a sink here and we could get ourselves a garbage bin like so. And then if I get a wall around here like so, they can enter here. Yeah, that's good. But wait, we need to have a male restroom and a female restroom. So we need to have a restroom here as well, which means I need to get this over here. Let's say like so, and then we get one of you guys here like so, and then you here. All right, that's good. Let's get a wall going. All right, let's get the doors. Okay, uh, restrooms, let's have the bigger restroom for the female and this one for the male. What are you missing? You are in a functional restroom zone. Yeah, there you go. All right, we got the restroom sorted out there, uh, which means we don't have to get rid of the conference rooms, which is good. And over here, we can have the conference rooms here. So let's go into conference. 
Let's get the dark woods. Oh yes. Uh, is there a large dark wood? Oh, that's too big. Yeah. I guess it's going to be like so. One here, one here. That's good. Let's get chairs. Let's get these. All right, let's get the garbage bins. And let's get the doors. So we need these doors. All right, so let's get the conference rooms zoned over here. So now we've got that sorted. Let's go for the reception. This whole thing here is going to be the reception. Of course, we need to have stairs going up as well. So we can do that. Let's have the reception desk right up here as soon as you enter. We can have restrooms here. There's plenty of space to have restrooms here. I need to have stairs as well. So we need to have stairs going up, which I suppose I would have the stairs here. And we can have the wall coming up here. And we can make this a restroom for this building. Why did I remove, why did I remove the thing from here, the reception from here? I don't know. I have no idea why I did that. But hey, I did do it. So I guess that's what that is over there. This is going to have like glass on top, but it's okay. Let's make that walls. Cause it doesn't make sense actually to have glass on the other side. Here there's, there's a little bit of gap up top, I guess, or maybe there isn't, I don't know, but still here, this is how it's going to be. And this is going to be the restrooms. So for the restrooms, um, let's get the restroom objects. Comfort, there you go. So we have one space over there. So this is the space in between, which is going to become a wall. And then we get Okay. Uh, we need a garbage bin. Actually, I can get rid of one of you, make you the garbage. All right. So we have a place to put a urinal here, I guess. Actually, we can have a couple of them. 
and we have the stalls the toilet stall we can have one more over here that's fine that's fine so let's go to zones let's go to where are the restrooms male restroom is you and the female restroom which i cannot find here or oh, there it is is you all right let's get some doors and voila we're ready to go uh so this is fine now we just need some seating here once that's done this building is complete as well so let's get some seating for here i want to get some of the fancy chairs so let's get these ones are these new no i have no idea all right that looks fancy for sure what else do i need we need some decor stuff oh look at this statue we can't turn the statues around that's okay so yes there'll be a statue there then and let's get some pot plants probably this one over here over here okay one over here one over here that's fine and we'll need something here in the middle so let's see fountains don't mind if i do we can actually have a bunch of these right yeah i don't know why i'm doing this but it just seems fun to have fountains in the middle of your office doesn't it there's so much more space there's so much more space for stuff Do we have ad displays here? Do we still get money if we put ad displays in our office? That is the big question to be answered. Maybe we can put ad displays here. <laughs> Let's have an ad display here. So people who visit this office, they can see an ad. Yay. Yay for them. Okay, I don't like this one. probably have like sitting chairs can we have stores here although who would use the stores stores won't make money i would love to have a cafe here like if this was an office that i was having i would definitely love to have a cafe for sure oh that's the thing that's why i didn't place it so close all right all right understand let's go up here let's dismantle all of this okay guess i need to foundation the rest of this as well and why am i doing it though it's not necessary what was it called demolish yeah sure all right demolish is not working dismantle is not i don't know what that is let's just leave that as it is so we can make this windows and we can just wait for when we grow enough for us to turn this into something until then it's just going to be the reception all right having done that 
I would like to go and negotiate with somebody. Who do I negotiate with? Uh, who, uh, this is a sales rep for Leonieville. This is a sales rep for WestJet, sales rep for Union Air. So Leonieville, WestJet and Union Air are the three ones that I have. My God, rating is pretty huge. So, what, how, I forgot how to do this. Upsell your contracts by offering facilities. You must accept all, at least eight flights. Do I have eight flights from you? I have four flights. Who do I have eight flights from? I have 25 flights from Learnival. So I guess you are the first person. Mm. Upsell your contracts to airlines by offering facilities in exchange for higher price. You can also request additional planes here. Okay. Uh, choose the time slot for your flights to arrive in. Each airline has preferences for each. So the higher the score, the less it will cost them and you. We can get four flights and we can get for PM. Ooh. They want a first class lounge, which is, let's say that I'm saying that's zero. Okay. Flight crew, let's say that's also zero. Still good. They want one office. Now they have 25 flights, right? So let's give them eight offices. Okay. Okay. They want a cafe. What happens if I say no warm? Okay. I'll give you a cafe. Uh, they want a conference room. Sure. I can give you a conference room service reliability. Sure. Cafe profits, bro. Come on. Come on. No store profits. No minimum load per flight. Come on, 2% is very, very bad. Breach penalty is fine. Runway fees. Let's try to see if we can push it up a little bit. Terminal, actually runway fees can be low. Terminal fees should be high. Oh, okay. 40. Okay. Daily fees. I think this is fine. All right. All right. So let's send the offer. Let's see how it works out. We need to negotiate further on the current deal. Okay. They want two first class. Okay. They want one flight crew. No. They want three offices at most. They don't want more than that. Okay. Service reliability 83%. What is this down? All this they want more. This it says lower, but actually they want more. What the hell? Oh, the 56. Oh, fine. Fine. I'm cool with that. This is, uh, I think that's okay. That's fine. Let's go to the next one. No, no, I can give you more offices actually. Sure. Take it. You want a store? No. You want a cafe? I can give you a cafe. I said you want that. I can give you that. I think 60% is pretty good. I don't know what his problem is. This is fine. This is okay. I guess no, this has to bump up, bro. You gotta give me something, bro. 
you got to give me something bro what the hell okay and this is good this is good this is good 1% are you joking are you kidding me this is so random first he said he wants 2% i said i want 20% and then now he's down to 1% what the hell is wrong with him seems very arbitrary right this seems extremely arbitrary all right that's done oh shit they did the lounge and the flight crew thing oh damn that was my bad i did not focus on those two but that's okay we've got enough space now leoniville is going to be in this right so uh cafe they need a cafe so i can actually assign this cafe to them or i can build another smaller cafe here so why don't i do that let me assign this to learnyville so at least that is taken care of let's assign this conference room to learnyville so that is taken care of all those are taken care of uh we need a flight crew lounge and we need two first class lounges now because all of their thingies are going to happen here it makes more sense to give them lounges here so i can assign this first class lounge to them i can assign another little um <clears throat> what do you say a flight crew lounge over here for them and on the ground floor here we can have a first class lounge over here that would mean that everything is done right right so uh, i want to put a quick cut in this video do like and subscribe if you like the content that i'm putting outside do comment if you think anything is comment worthy and i'll be back in a quick bit with the next episode until then take care now bye bye then